Okay, so as I started making this video, I posted on my channel that I would be uploading a new video next week called Patterns of Deception about Mario. Turns out, this will be the longest video I've ever made about him and is taking longer to finish than I originally thought. So since I didn't have the video ready when I planned, I made a teaser for the video to show my viewers what to expect and let them know it's delayed but coming soon. As you can see, the date I uploaded this video was June 12th. Like I said, Mario watches my channel like a hawk because he is always indirectly responding to my videos. So two days later, he uploads a video about how Christians should stop gossiping and having a critical spirit. As you can see, this video was uploaded June 14th. And this was just him indirectly responding to my teaser video. And I'm actually really glad he made this video because it perfectly summarizes everything I've said about him on this video. And shows that he's still saying the same things in 2021 that he was saying years ago. It's like the more he defends himself, the more he proves my point. I wanted to go ahead and create a video here to discuss with you how the Lord healed me from a spiritually cancerous, critical attitude. You, some people call it a spirit. I don't think it's a real spirit. But that's, that's the intent of a critical satanic spirit. It is a spirit that tries to find disappointment wherever it looks. Wait, I thought you just said you don't think it's a spirit, but more of an attitude. Critical attitude. You, some people call it a spirit. I don't think it's a real spirit. So if you think it's an attitude, which I would agree with, why do you keep calling it a spirit? <laughs> and now you've even upgraded it to a satanic spirit. <laughs> Ooh, spooky. Anything to try to demonize those who are making exposed videos about you. Let's paint them in the worst possible light. So not only do they have a critical spirit, but now they have a satanic critical spirit. Ooh, scary. So the ones who make videos helping reveal the tricks that the magician uses on stage are the villains. But the magician on stage who is creating an illusion and deceiving his audience is the hero. <laughs> Got it. Some people call it a spirit. I don't think it's a real spirit that causes us to be hypercritical and fall into the trap of gossip. The devil just made you fall into a trap through using his best technique, which is to slander, falsely accuse, and to create gossip. And urge all of you out there who constantly are criticizing, exposing this, criticizing that, exposing that. So many false accusers, people making videos for their own attention. For those of you who don't know, uh, I've spent two years in uh, residential recovery treatment. No, you were not in rehab for two years. You were at Jericho for three months and got kicked out for having steroids. I got caught for steroids in the house. Uh, so they booted me out. Uh, it was a nine month program. I didn't last nine months. I lasted three months. And a few months later enrolled in a less strict rehab program at a homeless shelter for about six months or so. He's bending the truth to paint himself in a better light and hoping no one will notice. There's a zealot epidemic in the truther Christian community. The Christian community is very sick guys, by the way. Very sick. And as I said, one thing you're gonna notice with this critical spirit is it's constantly obsessing. With your psychotic, demon-possessed type of mentality, do, just obsess over me. All day, every day. All you do is slander, all day, every day. Criticism based on hearsay is not helpful, it is gossip. I'm having to block so many people because you're going to old gossip that's not even relevant to my life anymore. The critic is literally sitting there with all of, the, all of the errors that have ever been made from years gone past and is constantly bringing this up. You see, you see, look at this person, they're evil, they're evil. Look, I need to expose them and it's just constantly doing that. That's a sickness. I don't make videos about you because of a list of your sins. I make videos about you because you lie on YouTube about who you are and try to deceive your audience. So I'm trying to point out the deception so that viewers can see for themselves. 
And Mario knows this. That's why he keeps talking about his supposed struggle with sin. Because if he's talking about sin, then he's distracting you from what he's really doing. Which is pretending to be a Christian. Pretending to believe in Jesus. Pretending to have a saving faith. Pretending to believe in heaven and hell. It's an act. Mario is a showman. No different than a magician performing on stage. He's playing the role of a Christian on YouTube the exact same way Hugh Laurie played a doctor on House. The exact same way Robert Downey Jr. plays Iron Man and Chris Evans plays Captain America. It's no different. It's acting. It is a role. The Vigilant Christian is a role that Mario Bryson created strictly to make money on YouTube. It's an act. That is why I've been trying to expose him. Not because I'm judging someone who's struggling with some sin. That is why I want him off YouTube because it makes my skin crawl knowing that this snake is slithering around the Christian community solely to make a buck. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with a legitimate Christian making money on YouTube. Someone like Alan Parr, David Wood, or what do you mean? Genuine Christians whose primary focus is God and not only making money. Mario, on the other hand, is not a genuine Christian and his primary focus is making money and he learned a way to use God on YouTube to do it. That is why he disgusts me and I work so hard at trying to expose him and get him off of YouTube. That's a spiritual sickness. That person is ill. Andrew, uh, Andrew's got some serious uh, issues, so it doesn't really matter what he's saying. Stay away from such people. This guy is so transparent. He made this video and other videos like it to discourage his viewers from watching exposed videos because he doesn't want anyone to watch the exposed videos that people have made about him so that his viewers don't figure out that he's been scamming them the entire time. They are twisted, lost, and evil. And so you can go ahead and go back to the two-year-old gossip that comes from people that have wicked and twisted hearts. It's like the darkness was there, but the light hadn't shined on it for me at, at, at that point in my life. But then God, in the last two years, has shined a light on it. And I'm glad because I was able to deal with it. And I am walking in Christ and doing what I need to do. And by not focusing on everyone else and taking time to look at the man in the mirror. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. And no message could have been any clearer. If you wanna make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make a change. I've been able to make massive transformations through Christ Jesus in my life. <laughs> the journey changed my life. Transforming me. It's changing me. We try and correct each other on the internet and I think it's a joke. Honestly guys, you don't know each other on the internet. That's exactly right Mario. You don't know each other on the internet and that's how you were able to trick so many of your viewers and make them think you're a Christian teacher because they don't know you in real life. They only see what you present on the internet. Go ahead, make your videos. Criticize this video because it's what you do best. <laughs> oh, I will. <laughs> Thanks for your permission. I absolutely will criticize your Vigilant Christian, Vigilant Mario character you created on YouTube to run a phony ministry. You will do it. It's what you guys do. You can't stop. You are under the power of this demonic spirit. With your psychotic, demon-possessed type of mentality, you're all demon-possessed. That's what it is. You are under the power of this demonic spirit, and you will do what it says. Hello? What was that? 
<laughs> Hello? <laughs> Who's out there? <laughs> yes, Master, I'll obey your every command. What shall I do to serve you? Yes, Master, I will criticize Mario. <laughs> And then I'll slander him and I'll falsely accuse him and then I'll stir up gossip. <laughs> I'm gonna make everyone think that he's a fraud and a liar. I'll make his ex-girlfriend come out and tell the whole world that he's not really a Christian away from YouTube. I'm gonna lie and say he makes videos about trending celebrities for views and not God. I'm gonna tell the internet that he's just going to abandon his recovery in Jesus channel when he doesn't get enough views and make enough money. I'll lie and tell the whole internet that he used ministry donations to buy drugs. <laughs> I'll tell the whole internet that he has nudes of other men on his phone. But that's just a lie. That's just something that I made up. That was just a big giant fabrication because I just want to criticize Mario. You are under the power of this demonic spirit because I'm demon possessed. And you will do what it says. And I will follow every order that my master gives me. I'll lie and say he's a bad actor. I'm gonna tell everyone that his tears are fake. I'm gonna alter footage of his videos to make it look like he's contradicting himself. And I'm gonna tell the biggest lie of all and say that his vigilant Pharisee character isn't hilarious. Hello everybody, I'm back. The vigilant Pharisee Wario. You must be perfect, you must be holy. If you are not, you're a devil, plain and simple. <laughs> All right, I need a throat drop. You are under the power of this demonic spirit. Some people call it a spirit. I don't think it's a real spirit. And you will do what it says and you will criticize everything. And it is not for the benefit of anyone. It's so that you can exalt yourself and be seen by other people. So many false accusers, people making videos for their own attention. Look at how angry he is. He's still so self-righteous. He has not changed one bit. He's telling his viewers that he's changed, but like he just said, you can't know anyone on the internet, but I don't need to know you in my physical life to look at you on screen and see the anger and hypocrisy in your eyes. They, you have a certain amount of people convinced that you're doing good by doing this. You ain't doing good. God knows what you're doing. Yeah, and God knows what you're doing too, which is why I believe he has been using me as an instrument to expose you as the scamming swindler that you are. God knows that it's very sick. I know it's very sick because I got trapped in it. Please repent. Please stop exposing me. Please be changed. God loves you. He doesn't want you to go to hell. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Now we're going to bring out the big guns and try to scare people with the threat of hell. <laughs> he wants you to repent. He wants you to really come to him. I hope you get saved. Really saved. Some of you are so caught in a critical spirit. Some people call it a spirit. I don't think it's a real spirit. That you're not even saved. You think yourself to be saved and you're not. <laughs> Oh, Mario is just the judge, jury, and executioner today. He keeps talking about how much he's changed, but he seems to have that same judgmental attitude he had before. Now, do I know if a call for an uprising is saved? No, I, I, I don't know. That's between him and God. But I can tell you this. He is either A, not saved, or one of the most spiritually weak Christians I've ever seen in my life who doesn't produce spiritual fruit. Sound familiar? You know, we're very strong against certain sins. You know, we pick certain sins and we really go after people. I think, Body of Christ, it's time that we deal with criticism 
and gossip. YouTube seems to be posting these old videos about me that a bunch of slanderers and gossipers made. People like that, according to scripture, do not inherit the kingdom of God. So be transformed. And if the Holy Spirit lives inside of you, okay, I'm not saying that we were saved by transforming and good works and all of that. Actually, you are. That's exactly what you're saying. Anyone who follows our videos knows you're talking about me. So you're taking scripture out of context, which is what false teachers do, and trying to say if I don't stop making exposed videos on you that I won't inherit the kingdom. The ones who don't inherit the kingdom are the ones who have not professed their faith in Christ. The sins you listed is what we all are before faith in Christ. But the ones who profess faith in Christ become a child of God. And when you become a child of God, then when God looks at us, he no longer sees us, but sees Jesus and deems us righteous by faith in Christ. That is the only way God deems us righteous, not by modifying our behavior or by good works. So, what Mario is saying, if I don't stop making exposed videos on him, I won't inherit the kingdom, which would mean I would have lost my salvation, which would mean <laughs> I can earn my salvation if I promise to quit making exposed videos on Mario. God's plan of salvation sure can be confusing at times. But what I am saying is if you have true and saving faith, you've been born again. And God is doing a good work in you. And that good work includes this removal of a cancerous tumor. Yes, I am trying to get rid of a cancerous tumor on YouTube. That's why I've made 40 videos exposing you. And plan to make as many more as I need to until you stop running your scam operation on YouTube and social media. And I will even use your own words from one of your videos to summarize exactly why I continue exposing you. You treat a wolf like a wolf. You don't let the, hey, let me pet you, little wolf. It's okay. Stay around God's sheep. Let me just coddle you. You kill it. You take it and you take a knife and you cut its head off. And then you say, that's it. Okay, if you're, if you're going to shepherd and you're going to protect the sheep of God here on YouTube and you're going to try and, and help out the body of Christ, you need to kill the wolves. 